Good morning! Woohoo! Oh, I'm feeling a bit more like the old me this morning. I had a marvellous night's sleep. Best night's sleep I've had in Maddie since I've had her, I think. I was at a place about two miles from here. I've never been in a location that's so dark in my life. It was like the black hole of Calcutta. But my God, how peaceful was it? <sighs> now, it is still dark, hence the scary Mary look. It is about half past seven. Isn't it great? Sunrise at civilised time. Sunrise is actually quarter past eight. High tide is half past seven. And I am back in Sidmouth. I am at the pier, which you'll not be able to see because it's too blooming dark. The tide is pretty damn perfect. And I'm hoping the tide won't recede that quickly that in three quarters of an hour I lose the shot that I'm after. Hey, and it's actually quite busy. But thankfully, so far, I'm the only one here. I've checked three weather apps this morning. I have checked my go-to, which is clear outside, which says zero cloud. I have checked the Met Office, which says cloud. And then I've checked the local, I've just Googled Sidmouth weather forecast and it comes up with uh, weather.com. And that says foggy. <laughs> I give up. It can't be that bloody difficult, can it? To get a weather forecast right. Um, as I came in from the tops, it looked foggy. It's not really. There's a bit of cloud. You can just see it sort of breaking up there. But over on the horizon, it's just thick cloud. And I don't care because I'm after minimal, I'm after black and white. If we get some colour, absolutely fabulous. But I'm not going to stress if we don't. So I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to fine tune my composition. And when it's light enough that I can actually show you what we're shooting, I'll pop back. out here because I've got water on this side and water on that side and just below me I'm sure if you'll be able to see this I've got water crashing on waves so apologies for probably or iffy audio <sighs> the pier it's a wonderful shape it goes out straight and then it dips down and then goes straight again but it kind of curves slightly as well and then we've got the marker boy that I was shooting last night um, yeah, we're well into high tide. I've noticed it coming in whilst I've been here. So I've done a couple of test shots to enable me to extend the exposure just to see what the image was going to be like. I've dropped down to F9 and I was on 20 seconds. So now that I'm happy with where I've positioned the camera, I've dropped a reverse grad in because we have thick goopy yucky clouds it looks like there's a bit of color coming up here but that really is quite deceptive it's just a bit lighter that's all i'm shooting in landscape orientation or as seems to be the way of saying it these days horizontal orientation it's landscape to me uh, as i say i've dropped a 0.6 reverse gradim i'm not worried if there's no color i'm not particularly wanting any color which is a very strange thing to say there is kind of a hue coming up. But I'm not busting it up. I want moody, I want minimal, I want mono. Ha! <laughs> Three M's. It's a little bit of a breeze and it's a bit chilly. It's not cold by a long stretch. About eight degrees. Which is great for being at the coast. So I will flip you around and try and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so composition-wise, it's kind of that, except it's straight. <laughs> uh, we have the water coming in down here, got the curve of the pier starting bottom left-hand corner of the image there, wiggling out, and then we have the marker boy in the distance. Now I will try this. Is it going to? 
yeah you sort of get the idea from there so yeah all i want now is some proper light and we're cooking with gas as they say The ambient light is increasing rapidly. I have taken the reverse out and I've popped in just a 0.6, I think it's a hard edge. Because by the time you zoomed in a bit, your hard edge becomes a soft edge. And yes, I don't understand that either, but it happens. I've also put in a 0.3 uh, soft grad because there was a spot just up there, probably there, that was just too bright. And yes, I could fill it in in post using Photoshop, but I can't be bothered. So I thought I'd try and get it right in camera. I've tweaked my composition yet again because the tide, unbelievably, is still coming in. Hold on. Oh yes. Now I've broken the six stop out. I was trying some shorter exposures, but essentially all I'm getting with the shorter exposures is a, a mass of white froth here. I wasn't getting the drain off and a little bit of movement in the, the sky, not a lot, and a slight flattening of the waves. So I've broken the six stop out, and I'm on timer, which is great, it's the best thing ever. I don't have to bother faffing around getting my remote trigger out. <laughs> Why didn't I discover this before? God, I'm so thick sometimes. The last exposure was, well, I'm guessing, about 100 seconds. So I'm just going to leave it to cook. And then I might try some shorter exposures again so that I get this rushing back. But the image that I'm after is perfectly smooth water because I want it to be ethereal, I think is the word for it. Misty and moody, that kind of thing. Now this is going to be really noisy because I am stood right. Oh, look at this, some steps into the sea. Ah! Absolutely fabulous. We began to get a little hint of colour in the sky. And I mean, it was just the hint. And I've walked along here, as you've just seen, and thought, oh, there's another set of steps around the other side. But they sort of went down and then angled, and that didn't work. What I was looking for was this type of thing. So you've got the steps, sorry, I'm moving you around. The steps leading out into sea and the water crashing over them. Now I've popped on a 0.6 uh, soft grad and the 10 stop. I am at F13 and 30 seconds. Because there's very little wind, I'm not getting much movement in the clouds, which is fine but the six stop is enabling me to smooth out the water. I have done some shots with just a grad on to hold the sky back, about a second, a third of a second, just to get some motion down here. I'm not quite sure which I prefer yet. That I absolutely love. The only, <laughs> oh, I'm getting carried away. The only issue with shooting this type of thing, I'm on the 1755 and I am, Ooh, fairly certain I'm at 17 mil. Oh no, I'm at 20. You tend to get a slight amount of distortion. So as you're looking at the steps, everything seems even left to right hand side. But when you get it in camera, it's... Oh! Whoa! 
I got wet, the camera didn't. Morning. Um, even though in, to your eye, everything looks even and level and centered, when you get it in camera, it very often doesn't look that way. So there might have to be a little bit of tweaking on, I think it's called warp or perspective in Photoshop, just to get everything perfectly level, but I've done the best I can in camera. Didn't expect to find this, I just came for a wander in the vain hope, ooh, where are we, that's it, that I would find something. Now the light has increased, so I'm just gonna drop the shutter to 25 seconds. There's still a little bit of light cloud hanging about. This phone's making it look ridiculously colourful, and it really isn't. But again, I'm, I'm torn. This one may go mono. The sun's coming up over there, so I might get away with putting the polarizer on. I might just have a try. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And then I'm going to try lowering the camera because I'm quite high up here. Yeah, I really like that. I'm going to spin you around and try and show you. <laughs> So that's the scene as we're looking at it. And that's what I got in the focus with my last exposure. I'm really happy with that. There's just, just do that, a slight difference between that and that, but it is very minimal. Those stairs were a brilliant find. Really enjoyed that, and I could have stayed there forever. The tide is taking an awful long time to go out. I was quite surprised, and you're still getting either. I think it's every seventh or possibly every tenth wave that really comes in with power. <sighs> yeah. Good morning. So it's now time for breakfast because my tum tum's telling me I'm hungry. But I thought before I went, I would talk to you about this week's viewers' image. And um, Paul so sent me in a couple of images, and this one just really appealed. Thank you, Paul Tyzak. Absolutely brilliant shot. It's a capture of a juvenile, let me get this right, greater spotted woodpecker. And it's just kind of peering over a fence, and it looks through the wood like he's going, oh, is it safe to come out? I think it's brilliant. Some lovely detail in it, Paul. Really, really nice. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you ever so much, Paul, for sending it in. I'm off for some breakfast and I'll catch you at the next location. Bye!